everybody and welcome back to my channel. Guys, I am so tired. I just want to take a shower and go to bed. For real. I'm not even going to wait for the camera to fully charge because I'm done with this day. I'm just done. I need to sleep. So, this is True Detective Season 1, Episode 3, The Locked Room. So they found a lead, right? They can stay in the case. Or keep the case or I don't have a brain right now if I usually can't function or talk or English right now I really can't here we go with the extremely religious people that I keep saying how much I hate Yeah, that's a baby crying. Old timer, can you imagine if people didn't believe or the things they get up to? Exact same thing they do now. Just out in the open. Um shit. I mean, um with Marty this time. People need to believe in something. This asshole is the religious one and he's still cheats. Adultery. How long have you been doing that? Been over twenty years. Compassion is ethics, detective. Yes, it is. Friend checks on all of them. Wait, his pants. You are incapable of admitting doubt. Now that can no. Matthew is way better than Marty. Forgot the name of the character. Matthew's character. Put on an APB on any tall man with facial scarring. Pick up what you keep and leave the rest behind. Matthew McConaughey is so sexy. Damn! <laughs> He's stealing your wife. Trying to get a rest to stay for dinner. Oh. I would stay just to kick his balls. I'll walk you out. Hey. Hey. Don't touch me. Hello. You and me. He's on. breathing too hard. Fucking Marty, I just hate this guy. Oh. Okay, let's admit that Matthew's character is kind of creepy. The way he was walking, creep. Go, run. She's not a dog. Those were the drawings. Okay. Yeah, William. Or a pair of boobs. He breathes too much. She's not buying it. She knows what she wants to hear. It's like I'm that coyote. The cartoon is like I'm running off a cliff, and if I don't look down and keep running, I might be fine. But um, yes, you are. Is she buying it? She bought it. She was just like, yep, debit or credit. I thought you were smart, Maggie. 
I thought you were smart. She likes him. That's a nice blind date. Come on. I've heard that. It can be a side effect of a staff. Gonna go home with the staff? That's none of your business? Has he even danced since, you know, he dated his wife? <laughs> Ex wife. Okay, he danced really awkward. For a month. What's up with that music? Describe the shape of that. Man. Fuck you. People should know him. He's a detective. That's none of your business. <laughs> Bitch, call the cops. Stop it. Now pay for my sure, fucking no to closet Boy, doors. We don't really done something like that. I'm not a psycho. No. <laughs> Just a little bit. Bitch, talking about family. After what he did, come on. I definitely like the complicated rust and not the Oi, family, family, Marty. That's why I'm single. <laughs> I'm complicated and I like complicated guys. Not good. I gotta put you on the spot. <gasps> Listen, Maggie, he's not your friend. Man can love two women at once. I mean, he cannot be real. Are you real, Marty? He's not a bad man, you are. Annoying. What do you want him to do? Run? Oh, oh my god, Marty is calling me! Run! Is it a machete? And a gas? He looks like a monster, all right. They're getting closer and closer. And I am so convinced that Rust is good and Marty is bad. And I'm getting this kind of hint that maybe Marty has done a lot more than just cheat on his wife. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I just think he is not good even if it's a detective. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode with me. This day is officially over. Please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't and you can also follow me on my social media like Twitter, Instagram or Facebook. The links will be in the description box. As always, I'm Sara Millano and I'll see you in my next video.